Hey everybody, welcome to the last day of Sage. Um, if you're wondering how I am in terms of energy levels compared to the first day, the second day I was losing my ability to speak. And today, I really don't know what today's gonna look like, so we're all gonna be on that ride together. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm gonna spend even less time rambling at the beginning of uh, this live stream because we're gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna stop that beautiful Sonic Before the Sequel OST, which I love, by the way. Um, massive shoutouts to the team behind that game, but we are not playing that game today. Today, we are playing Sonic Triple Trouble 16-Bit by Noah. Now, Noah, unfortunately, is not gonna be able to make it in the chat today, uh, though Noah was here for yesterday's stream, so Noah's support is felt. Um, you're gonna be noticing that I'm like looking at different screens than normal. Um, not that you would really care, but uh, it apparently seems that on some Call Me Johnny stream of Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit, it, 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 it appears that there is um, some sort of glitch that causes um, 144 hertz monitors to run the game at a slower speed. Um, my window seems to be a little strange, but I think I'm just gonna roll with it. I just wanna make sure volume mixer is good. But so what I've done is I've switched to my other monitor to um, make sure that the game can run at full speed. Uh, so you're gonna see that it's running at the regular speed. This is a demo mode. Um, all right, so the cropping is a little strange, but I don't have time to worry about it. Uh, so we've covered this game on Tails' channel before, um, but there is a whole new level and boss. Uh, and this game has a lot of attention to detail, so we're gonna start 20 minutes on the timer right now. And apparently it seems that there is a competition mode, which I'll try my best to look into. I thought I pressed A, but it just brought me back to the beginning of the screen. Uh, anyway, how- how was everyone's week so far? Good? I pressed A, is it- Okay, opening prologue. So we've covered this. We've covered this on Tails channel before, but just so you guys know, you can switch between Sonic and Tails, and there are cutscenes here. Uh, we're gonna watch them through even though we've covered them on the channel, because when we did cover them on the channel, we had text over the screen, and uh, we wanna let it, we wanna play it raw here. Why not? And it gives me time to talk to you guys. And I think this is worth covering because something really special about this game is that it takes Triple Trouble, which otherwise doesn't really fit into the canon, and what Noah has done is make it take place directly after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So it feels more like a Genesis game. Not only that, but Noah has painstakingly made it Genesis accurate in terms of frame rate. You'll see in the special stage that the 3D elements have a lower frame rate to match Genesis hardware. So pay attention to details like that. Also, I want to address one thing real quick. Uh, at the end of last stream, I got a huge roast. Somebody came at my life and they were like, based on your gameplay of Sonic Robo Blast by Earless Team, you don't you seem like you're not very familiar with classic Sonic. Are you even a classic fan? Do you are you even familiar with it? And I was like, I've been in the Sonic fandom for many many years, <laughs> more years than I can count apparently in this moment, but never have my feelings been so hurt by a comment. Uh, be especially, especially because I've been in the fandom this long, uh, it hurt. My gameplay wasn't amazing, but I'm looking at the chat, but also, not only am I looking at the chat, but I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm also trying to look at all the, um, the pixel art and the graphics in the background, so I'm not, like, speeding through it. I'm not trying to be, like, the most epic gamer that ever existed. I never made that claim. Um... So I think that fellow who won't be named right now was just in the wrong place. This is the place for a good time. Not, this is not the place for epic gamer skills. Don't go to Tails Channel live streams for classic Sonic speedrun stat strats. That ain't happening. Uh, anyway, it's regular time. Uh, I saw Rosemary in the chat. Hey, Rosemary, uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, ask you yesterday because you weren't around, but how was your birthday? Was it good? And of course, we got my good friend Shani in the chat. Shani, I hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> I know you're going through some stressful times with your career as well. Uh, I'm I'm send send Shani your energy. He needs it. Send Shani 
<laughs> your energy. He truly, truly needs it. Sam is here too. Hi, Sam. And I see the crazy gamer. Uh, hi, crazy gamer. Y'all are so supportive of me. Um, so Noah is a huge classic Sonic fan and Sonic fan in general. So you're going to see a huge attention to detail. These flickies, I don't think, I think those are original flickies to this game. And I believe this shield down here is a shield that gives us a homing attack. I believe that happened with a shield that looked similar in Sonic Roboblast, and it also gave you a homing attack. It doesn't seem to give us a homing attack for power-ups, but maybe I'm wrong about the homing attack. I might be getting Sonic Roboblast and Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit mixed up. Let me just... Hold on a sec. Every bad nick I've killed too fast. Come on. Oh, it, it was a homing attack. Okay, my memory still functions. Now I want to use this unique gimmick, so we're going to go up here. Uh, dang, Knack has no chill. So, Danny earlier, who, if you don't know Danny, Danny is one of... Now, I know you all like to see me suffer a little bit, and it's a, to a reasonable degree, but Danny, I swear, has devil horns growing on him somewhere, because this dude actively sets me up for failure. Before this live stream even started, Danny was like, hey, Evan, if Knack is playable <laughs> in one... If Knack is playable today and you don't play as him, it counts as a fail. But then I said, Knack's not playable today, and then he's like, still a fail. What? So that counts as a fail? Why? That's not fair. Also, Danny, this all of our, this entire week of our Sage coverage has been counting random, random mistakes. I don't even know what the mistakes are, Danny. I have no idea what mistakes you're talking about. I would really appreciate a list because as far as I know, there's only been like two or three screw ups tops. And like, if you're gonna really be nitpicky, I like, you know, I messed up the volume, I guess, you know, but it wasn't even that bad. Also, Greedy, it's nice to see you here. Greedy, you're being mad supportive of all the Sage entries this year and especially Tails channel this year. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I think you've been present for all of our uh, Sage <clears throat> live streams. It's really nice of you to be here. Um, also, Ashlyn's been here the whole time too. Ashlyn, are you a regular in our Tails channel lives, like regularly at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays? Because I don't know if I recognize you entirely. For some reason, your personality has really come out in the chat during Sage, particularly. I will now remember you. He took it back, Evan? Ashlyn, he did? Aw, oh, Danny! I don't think Danny has ever taken anything back. Maybe it's because I called him out in front of everybody. I'm sorry, Danny. It's all in good fun. It really doesn't bug me too much. It's part of what makes me remember you. See, see right now, I'm looking at the chat and I got hit by a projectile by Knack because I'm paying attention to you. And that dude, that dude was so angry and he thought I wasn't a classic Sonic fan simply because I want to talk to the chat. That's nuts. What do I got to do? What do I got to do to prove my classic Sonic fandom? Do I have to do something, chat? What do I got to do? Do I got to, do I, I got to tell you what my favorite classic Sonic game is and why? Okay. Sonic 2. Why? Okay. Sonic 2's level design isn't fantastic and I'm not a huge fan of Oil Ocean Zone. That's typically where I kind of get tuckered out is that point in the playthrough. Uh, so I definitely say, I would definitely say Sonic 3 and Knuckles has the better level design overall. But I am a visual artist first and I really love pixel arts. I, I really love pixel art and I really love uh, chip tunes. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. I know this is polarizing. But I prefer the Sonic 2 sprite over Sonic 3 sprite. Something about how his shoes are really like rounded at the ends. He looks really inflated. Oh no, that's not a good word for the Sonic fandom. Inflated's not good. I'm sorry. I meant like slightly, not in that way. I, not in that way. I didn't mean that. Okay, guys, just forget that ever happened. He looks a little too rounded for me. I don't know how else to describe it. I really liked the kind of. He looks kind of like angry in the Sonic 2 sprite. And I liked how, like, spindly he looked. Um, I mean, the perfect sprite is still yet to be made for Sonic. I've seen so many, uh, custom fan sprites that do even better than Sonic 2, in my opinion. Um, and I love the Sonic 2 OST. Uh, the composer, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but the composer from Dreams Come True, 
I just love his work in Sonic 1 and 2, but I think Sonic 2's spin dash really helped the gameplay. Um, so I love Sonic 2. And also, there's a huge amount of bias in there. Because Sonic 2 was where Sonic was arguably at the peak of his popularity. And that's when I was growing up. So I saw Sonic 2 everywhere. I had Sonic 2 for the Game Gear. There was all this, like, promotion of Sonic and Tails. All this stuff. Like, it was just such a time. You know? It, I don't know how else to describe it. Evan exposed. Shanny exposed as a Sonic 2 fan? So I think the amount of rambling I just did about Sonic 2 should be enough to prove to you that I am a classic Sonic fan. Um, but I'm also an adventure Sonic fan. Uh, anyway, Noah is not here, so he can't explain it to us, but I believe these flickies that I'm walking by are a new feature. I don't know if they're like tallied or something. Did you guys see at the end of the last act I completed some sort of flicky tally? Let me know in the comment section below. I didn't do that right. Uh, all right, so, I know I'm playing a little bit faster and that might be because I'm self-conscious of the comment I got, uh, <laughs> the, the roast I got last time. But it's also because I've played this before, so I'm a little bit more familiar with the level design. Um, but let's, let's spend a little bit more time talking about the badniks and stuff like I did with Galactic. Uh, so that badnik just dropped a spike ball and got the heck out of there. I think these flowers are unique. I don't know if they come from Triple Trouble. Shanny is a big Triple Trouble fan. So if you have any questions about where certain elements came from, like for example, the springs on the trees. Sometimes there's springs on these trees. I know for a fact that that's from Triple Trouble. <clears throat> hey, Roger, welcome back to Tails Channel Live. Tails, uh, R Roger is another regular and he's always uh, hanging out with us on all of our live streams. He's super supportive. So it's always nice to see when he's able to make it. But don't worry, when, you don't, when you're not able to make it, I don't, no, the special stage. We're gonna switch to Tails, even though I haven't done it at all the whole playthrough, even though I'm on Tails' channel. I'm sorry, guys, just by default, I, I play as Sonic. It's just, it's just the way I roll. Uh, Akiro64 asks, hey, Evan, do you love Sonic CD music? Okay, guys, so I remember watching a video way back and I don't remember exactly who made it, but somebody made this really interesting video where it was the uh, US OST, versus the Japanese OST of Sonic CD. Now, I remember um, when I was in the Sonic fandom like early on, it seemed to be that the common consensus was that the Japanese soundtrack was the preferred soundtrack among fans. Uh, uh. Oh, this slowed me down. Okay, I was right to do that. Uh, ha ha, Knack. Look at Knack's expressions. Shani wants me to say that because every single time this is streamed. Shani goes, look at Nack's expressions, everybody. Look at Nack. Look how cool Nack. Wait, did I run into rings? It did say ring out, but I take ring out as like falling off. Wait, I get to try again. Does it take a life? Or did it take pity on me? Um, honestly, my bias is with the American soundtrack because I grew up with Sonic CD on the PC. So my nostalgia lies with the American soundtrack of Sonic CD. However, I've since really grown to love the Japanese soundtrack, and I watched that video like I was talking about, which kind of kept score, and he like compared each song. Song by song, he's like, which song is better? Which one captures the vibe of the level? All that kind of cool stuff. And I thought it was super interesting, and I kind of agree with it. It kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, <sighs> I get criticized sometimes for being a little too positive, and that's fine, you know, I think that's really good for my mental health, and I've said it many times, you guys didn't really know me when I was in my negative Sonic fandom phase, okay? You're, I'm in my, I'm in my acceptance phase while you guys are getting to know me right now. Um, but I like that video because it seemed like a pretty even score in the end. I don't remember the exact score, but some songs, some acts were better on the American soundtrack, some acts were better in the Japanese soundtrack, and honestly, I feel that. Now, I know technically the Japanese soundtrack is considered the original one and they only had to make the American soundtrack because of, um, what was it? Some themes that weren't acceptable in, uh, for two American audiences? Or I believe that maybe the localizing team thought it would alienate the, uh, the players? Uh, anyway, something's going on in the chat that I'm not paying attention to and I want in. Sam, what's going on with Ashlyn? Is Ashlyn, why, 
What about the sign, though? Oh, no. Oh, no, they're having a conversation without me. Oh, here's the boss. Took a little while to get here. Where did you... What took you so long, boss? So we just bullied the kid, and now... Here comes... Wait, what? All right, here comes the mom. Here comes the mama. So my first Sonic game was Sonic 2 for the Game Gear. So I grew up with a Game Gear. So this music is inc incredibly nostalgic to me. I am really happy with the 16-bit remakes of this entire soundtrack, which I believe is something that Noah handled himself. I don't know if Noah handled this entire game himself. It might be the case because I don't remember there being... Wait, there might be credits at the end, so we'll be able to find out. I'm doing terribly. Okay, let's focus. Gamer mode. I, I, don't, want, I don't want somebody in the comments to roast me and question my classic Sonic fandom. Evan, tell the chat I like adventure. I will, Sam, but you owe me. I've, do I've done this more than once for you, Sam. I will say it. Sam truly does love adventure. And this joke, I have no idea where it started from that Sam doesn't like adventure. <laughs> but Sam, trust me, this is the new level, by the way. So pay attention. I think these bouncy bubbles are um, from... No, I don't think. I know they're from CD. Um, anyway, Sam truly does really love adventure. Uh... I don't, I don't know. Sam, do you like Adventure 1 or Adventure 2? These are like the mechanics introduced in Sonic Advance 2. Like, kind of like those little uh, bouncy poles where closer to the end you go, uh, you bounce higher. That bad Nick dropped a, a string of projectiles to the ground, which I believe is unique to this game specifically. I don't remember that being a triple trouble thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, Shani. It would be greatly appreciated if you're still around. Um, this quicksand... I don't know if it was from the original. Honestly, it's been so long. That bad Nick just looked like a standard bouncing up and down. Matt started it? Sam? Really? It was it was a little tricky because like I feel like I just woke up to the joke existing. Like, and our group was just it's just such it's like things just catch fire. Jokes just catch fire so quickly. So Sam has confirmed he likes SA1 more. And now, Sam, because I agree with you, and sometimes. What's going on here? Oh, I kind of liked that. Um, because I like SA1 more and I want to push my narrative. Why? Why, Sam, do you like SA1 more? Explain to us. Uh, Mango says SA2 is way better, though. So I would say SA2 streamlined the experience. And I wouldn't say that, that was like a bad idea by any means. But SA2's Chow Garden and multiplayer really does it a lot of justice it carries the experience a lot not only that but the end game so all the unlockables not only in the chow garden but the costumes you can unlock the vehicles you can unlock there's a cart race uh sa2 is jam-packed with content and that makes up for the streamlined gameplay um but still when i'm talking about the game that i enjoy i'm gonna i'm gonna ignore the extra fluff okay i really am gonna ignore the extra fluff and i'm saying and especially now because the hot topic is how can Sonic work in 3D? Because Forces has put us into a a frenzy of what is the best approach to take now that now that boost formula is in question now. Uh, by the way, this is a new bonus stage. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I'm gonna stay in it as long as I can. Or maybe I shouldn't, so I can cover the level. It just made the choice for me. We got three minutes left on the clock with uh, Triple Trouble. I probably spent a little extra time on it because I started the timer a little late at the title screen. But that's fine. It's a beautiful game. I'm happy to spend more time on it. Uh, but anyway, because that's a hot topic, 3D gameplay and what will work, and because uh, remakes are a hot topic, and some people, believe it or not, are saying, oh, I want an SA2 remake instead of an SA1 remake. Like, ignore SA1. It was a failure. Like, some people are saying that, believe it or not. I'm on sa one side. I think we need SA1 first. I really do. And I think SA2 would be really cool if when they remade it, they made it the le each level a little bit more like SA1. I'm just saying the meat and potatoes of SA1 is my fave. But I love me some SA2 Chow Garden. I love me the unlockables. I really do love it. I really do love it. But again, remember, I am a visual artist. So 
I love that graffiti inspired, that super rubber hose, noodly limbed. All the characters had it in SA1 too. And that's when they introduced that style. So mad props to the art direction in SA1. I'm incredibly biased, okay? Don't hate me. I can admit it, okay? That was my game. I loved it. I owned a Dreamcast. I, w I went to Blockbuster. I'm dating myself. I went to Blockbuster and played Adventure 1 at the kiosk. And man, I was so excited. I played Emerald Coast so many times, dude. I do not know what just happened. Did you guys see that? I got like bounced by the bubbles, landed on the bad Nick. Luckily, I still had invulnerability frames, but I was standing on top of that dude. I think that's a fair take, Evan. Thank you so much, Mixed Media. Always, uh, always coming in clutch with uh, <laughs> helping me out. Thanks, Mixed Media. Been super loyal all the way until, wait, no, since basically, I don't know, what was it? When did you first start watching my content, Mixed Media? I don't wanna. I don't want to tell it wrong. Let me know in the chat. I might miss it though, but I might see it in the archive So I'll get the message eventually, but you can tell my brains working a million times a minute for your sake right now um, Carla's dimension says but I can't choose sa1 or sa2. They're both really good Carla That's fine because honestly, I kind of feel that way uh, I feel like the sonic fandom kind of pressures you into choosing a side Especially if you're on Twitter, right? They're like, which one do you like? And I kind of just did that, right? I kind of just bullied Sam into making a choice. So I'm guilty of it too, don't worry. Um, but you don't have to. You don't have to pick. You don't have to pick at all. That's a bonus stage, we've been there. Okay, this is a new boss. Let's go, it's Knack. Let's go, Knack. Oh, he's got a drill. Oh, I missed him. I did very bad. So one thing I do know about this boss is that he has a hurt box on his way up. So you gotta hit him from the side. Oh, I missed that up. Oh, our timer's on, but we're gonna finish this boss. Oh man, that was a tricky missile. But Shani would say, well, Evan, Knack is a tricky guy. And I would agree, that's my timer going off, but I gotta beat Knack. I gotta do it for Shani. I gotta make up for the fact I didn't play as Knack uh, in Sonic Galactic. That way she, that is a, I don't, I don't know how to react to that. I gotta learn, I gotta always be on guard. Come on, Knack. You'll, you'll find out why I, I felt it essential to complete this boss when we get to the end of it. Come on, come on. Here comes the missile, I went right into it. What is that? The Evan mix up. Knack would never expect me to run into it on purpose. Wow, I'm doing so badly. It's just more time with Sonic Triple Trouble 16 bit, am I right? Noah's gonna watch the archive and he's gonna be like, yes! There it is! We push him into the ground! And then Sonic steals Knack's hat and wears it and goes, later, nerd! Oh, did Sonic just raise his eyebrows at us? Look at that. I think that's new. Eh? Eh? Nice, I like that. Okay, we have to stop though. I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, so that was Sonic Triple Trouble 16 bit. And what a pleasure it was. I had quite a bit of fun. Now, uh, bear with me for just a moment because I am switching everything over to another monitor because that was the only game that we need to run on that monitor. But it took no time at all. We are switching over. Hexen, Hexen, I always do that with your name, Hexen Mexican. Hexen Mexican donated $2 saying simply, Knack. All right, so we're gonna move on to our next entry and our next entry is Sonic Advanced 4 Advanced. Uh, we're going to pull it up as soon as possible. Let's see if it boots up on the right monitor, though. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Sonic 4 Advanced. Or Sonic Advanced 4, not Sonic Advanced. Come on. Oh, it's loading. Oh, it's loading. That's really small. Oh, what's going on there? What is that? Sega. You guys see that. You guys see that. What's happening? Whoa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my eardrums. I'm sorry for all of you. We're not playing the game like this. There might be uh, what is it? Are there keys to, maybe there's a read me. Window size, window size, window size. Other keys, full screen is F4. Okay, we got this guys. We got this, we're on this. Okay, we're gonna open it up again. Window size, F4, full screen. There it is. We got it. No screw ups yet. Game start with the controller working. We got it. Breeze asks, how's Lords and Opal doing? Well, it's actually Opal's. Wait. Oh, okay. It's actually Opal's 
third birthday today. So can I get a happy birthday, Opal, in the chat? Because Opal is such a good girl and she deserves it. Uh, as for Lords, uh, like many of you probably are, uh, oh, Lords is sick and tired of the Sonic drought. Not only that, but just uh, Sonic social media. Oh, this is a tutorial. Okay, the boost is the C button, but I, I have a controller and I don't have a C button. So um, we're just going to have to try it. Uh, so the boost button is the C button, which is that button. Okay. So, you're going to notice that this is put together with a bunch of assets from the Sonic Advance series, but it also has boosts. And there's a lot of uh, visual flair here. It doesn't appear that the homing attack is... Oh, okay. It's mapped to a different button. Okay. And there's a way to do... There's a trick button. Okay. It works like Sonic Advance 2, I believe, where you press the right trigger and uh, a direction you want to move in. Uh, that is one of my favorite mechanics that I really wish they would bring back. I love it. They have it in Rush 2, but it was introduced in Sonic Advance 2. I am a huge fan of it. Uh, I believe this game also has a mix <clears throat> of like Jason Griffith, Ryan Drummond, and Roger voice clips, though I'm not entirely sure. I didn't start my timer yet. Uh, that doesn't count as a mix up because I'm just gonna minus uh, a couple of minutes. There we go. We're good. Oh, we got this air dash too? Is that because I have no boost? Looks like it. It's advanced in Rush doing fusion. The fusion dance. I got a Dragon Ball fan in the chat. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, Lords is basically... She's just giving Sonic a rest right now because honestly, from her perspective, and I don't blame her at all, uh, on Sonic social media or Sonic Twitter, uh, it's just kind of repetitive. And honestly, guys, let's make a list of things that happen far too often on Sonic social media after I figure out what this is about. Okay. Uh, press A button to finish. I have no idea what this is. Uh, I tried. I really did try. I think I pressed the wrong triggers. So I'll have to try it again. Uh, I believe there's like a special ramp. So I'll have another opportunity to try it out. <clears throat> Reading is not my strong suit. But anyway, let's make a list of things that happen too often on Sonic social media. Uh, I just basically saw it before this stream started too. Uh, <laughs> stating, like simply stating one game is better than the other game. Like, dude. Dude. <laughs> Come up with a funny joke, at least. A funny meme, I'm begging you, please. Simply stating like, and this this is completely made up on the fly. No one did this, but this is an example. Sonic Heroes is so much better than SA1. Like, and that's your tweet. And they're just a picture of the two. What is the tweet? What is that? I think as a community, we all collectively need to respond with nice bait. Nice bait. Nice bait. Nice bait, boy. Nice bait, girl. Nice bait, bro. Come on. What? At least come up with a joke. If it was a joke about the game, fair game, bro. That's creative. You deserve the likes, the retweets. Fine. If it's a meme, fine. But what is the joke when you just... You're just stating an opinion and then logging off? What are you doing? Why? Uh, what? I think that's really the only thing that really gets to me personally. So this is a bumper here in the boss. We have to, we have to do some platforming. But I don't know how to get up there. Oh, okay. A platform shows up and then we go here. Oh, but it's really hard to stay on there. Let's wait for the next platform. Ugh. Sega hire this man is the worst. Yes. Because that person that's making Sonic fan content, uh, Greedy, and you, I'm sure you know this, I'm just saying this for the chat. But uh, that person that's making Sonic fan con content might not necessarily want to work for Sega. You know what I'm saying? They might not want anything to do with the company. Just because they love the character doesn't mean they want to work with Sega. So I know when people say it, they mean it as a compliment, but you're kind of assuming someone's end goal, right? Because a lot of people make fan games just like Sonic 4 Advanced. Uh, Sonic Advanced 4 Advanced... Dude, can you... Is there already a fan game called Sonic Advance 4? Is that why it's called Sonic Advance 4 Advanced? I'm having a hard time talking. It's clearly because I'm exhausted. You know what? Don't change your fan game. You be you, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, I think hitting that thing in the middle of this egg fleet, for lack of a better term, 
is doing damage to the boss. So I think, I think we're okay. But I'm used to doing damage to Eggman. But I guess Eggman's just throwing the projectile. But yeah, Sega hire this man is assuming their end goal. They might not want to work with Sega. So I would say that's a good one. Homing attack, Evan. Oh yeah, right, it's mapped to a different button. I was pressing AA. I'm just so used to pressing AA that any other button mapping throws me off. Okay, yeah, that makes it much easier. Thank you so much for the tip. Wow, okay. I just did the double tap to do a dash forward like in Sonic Advance 1 because I saw the same sprite. See, this is what's happening is like when you play so many fan games, all the button mapping is so different. I'm gonna get somebody in my comments going, do you even like Sonic? You don't even know how to do a homing attack. Dude, come on. You're probably tired, says uh, Bowser Bar. It's definitely true. It's definitely true. I'm definitely tired. Oh, wait, these take down the shields. Then I can hit them. Wait, yeah, I think so. Let's go. Let's go. Because I, I, I saw the, the homing reticle. Okay, come on, come on, come on. They're gonna... What? I don't even know what's going on. I honestly have no idea what's going on, but I did damage and we're still alive. The shield is up right now, so I think these are the shield generators. And we need to take him down. Hit the generators to knock out Eggman's shield. Yeah, okay, so I was on the right track. The, the rings are very generous. I am very happy with this. This is not like Advance 2, where the, the rings are very hard to come by. There is a lot of them, and it's making up for my lack of ability to learn how to do a homing attack. Ah! Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, let's go. Oh, and when you hit it, rings pop out. Oh, man, this is a good first boss. Nice. It's nice, because I don't really know the controls yet. I think it's okay for a boss to do this for the first one, at least. Um, Ferdy says you have to destroy like, those things and skip uh, so you can hit them. Thank you, Ferdy. We already figured that one out, but thank you. Uh, do I have zero rings? I do. Come on, where are those generous rings? I need help. I need help. Help! I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I know how to do it now, so there's no way to... Uh, Sega Star 7 says, Evan, did you see the chow in space behind the scenes on the Sonic stream today? Uh, so I was at work on the Sonic stream today. I need to get rings! I need to get rings! Don't hit the fire! Okay, I thought the fire had a hurt box. Alright. Come on. Get out of the way. Alright. We're just gonna, we're, we're, we're focus moding, okay? So chat, just hold on a sec. I will interact with you in a moment. But for the sake of being stuck on the same boss for the entire stream coverage, I need to focus. <laughs> no, I landed on that, I didn't expect to. Come on, all right, come on. All right, okay. Next generator. Come on! No! The generator's back up already? Huh. Is there a boost I'm not using? Yes, there is! That will do it. There we go. It's the boost, guys. Oh, but now I have to go from the boost button to the homing attack button really quickly. And the homing attack doesn't always work. Hmm. Darn. Okay. Uh, This is... I think this is... A little bit of evidence of too many gimmicks. At least for the first level. No, I, I can't do that. Okay, we need rings. Homing attack. Boost to catch up. Slow down. Ah, the boost is too powerful. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get up there. Go there. Go a little back so my boost doesn't overpower me. Get there. Boost. Hit him. No. Did I hit him? No, I didn't hit him. Go! Got him. Darn. Go. Oh, I wanna, what? What was that? I was in front of him. Come on. His shield's back. I hit them both, so that's good. Focus mode is lasting a very long time. I'm sorry, chat. I need your energy right now. I can't see you, but I can tell that you're cheering for me. I think, I hope, please. Please. I can quickly glance for your support. Ah, boost to catch up. Hit the generator. Boost to catch up. Hit the, ah, hit the generator. Hit the generator boost. The both generators are back. No, no. Ah, I'm running out of rings. No. I think my. I think I taste blood. 
What's happening? Okay, now we gotta catch up. Homing attack, homing attack, homing attack! Did I even hit him? I didn't hear the sound. Oh, we hit him once at least. The boss has so much health. Oh my goodness. Okay. Never mind, I take back everything I said. I, the boss has way too much health considering I have to take down generators just to hit him a few times. Gamer up, I see mixed media giving me power. Ashlyn, thank you. I got this. I have to get this. I have to do this for the sake of coverage for Sage. I'm, I'm slipping. I feel it. Come on. Okay. No, 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 Sonic, not woo. This is not time for fun. This is time for focus. Come on. Come on. Oh, the generator came back already. Eggman's saying give it up and I kind of feel it. I'm staring at the generators and so it causes me to miss where the missiles are. I can't really see where the missiles are because I'm paying attention to my homing reticle. Because the homing reticle, because I'm vulnerable if my homing attack doesn't connect, right? Uh, maybe if I'm really vulnerable to the missiles and so I'm afraid to use it by mistake So I have to pay attention to the glowing ring on the The generators and so that causes me to lose focus of the missiles. Okay, here we go. We can hit him. We can hit him Got him Let's go. Oh lost my rings again That's an unused line from Sonic uh, colors. We just heard oh and his shields back up Maybe, you know what, what might help is if there's a way that I can find out that the shield is up when I'm not there and when he's not on screen. Maybe there's some sort of icon next to the boss's health uh, that lets me know the shield is up because I got to run up to him to find out that the shield is up. Oh man, come on. Let's go, come on. That's working for me. All right, okay, we're getting, we're gamering up. Yes, you got him! Mixed Media, I see you! I see you! The power, I feel it! Thank you! There's a gun up there too? Talk about overkill! We did it! We freaking did it! Oh. Chili dogs next time. Chili dogs? Bring some chili dogs next time. All right, I mean, you know, I'll take it. Go, go, go. We did it! We did it! I can't believe we did it. Uh, Ferdy's saying this is way too complicated for a first boss. It's, I don't know about that, because again, I'm not a game designer, but I'm just gonna say it was way too complicated for me. What? We get radical route? I love this game. Ground on the rail? No. Oh, I'm backwards. Go. Oh. Uh. All right. Going down backwards in style. Sure. Okay. Can I restart? Can I. Can I what button is it? What? I'm pressing A. Oh, it's red because I can't restart. Good to know. All right, there we go. We're going. Uh, okay, uh, it's this button. All right, yeah, yeah, let's go. Radical Highway. I'm pretty pumped because this is a unique aesthetic for um, Advanced, and the first one wasn't so much. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really liking the aesthetic here. I know it's still reusing some assets from the Advanced series, um, but still, I like it. And I love me some, oh, I love me some SA2. Oof, forces flashbacks intensify, says Ashlyn. Yeah, I don't really, I mean, I don't, I'm not in love with that chili dog line from forces, but I, I wouldn't say it's bad. Like, if that was, if that was a line from a really good story, like if it had a good story to go with it, you know, Sonic is cheesy sometimes. And that's one of those lines where I, I'm willing to accept Sonic being a geek. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sonic is sometimes a nerd. The adventure games are guilty of cheesy lines too. I got a tolerance for it. All right, let's go. Homing attack chains, gotta love them. I think there's a stomp too that I'm not using. There it is, there we go, okay. So there's a stomp, lots of abilities. I will not be able to keep track of all of them, especially in this playthrough. This is not a mod, I will confirm. It is not a mod, oh, oh man. I can't tell what, so those little things in the background, they're supposed to be background elements, but I feel I keep thinking that I can jump on them. Uh, maybe there's a way that to make them look more like they're in the background. <clears throat> then again, I figured it out pretty quickly. Oh, jeez. I was getting Sonic Advance 3 flashbacks. I thought for sure I was gonna get crushed. Uh, all right. Uh, this game is Sonic Advance 4 Advance. That is correct. Thank you, Karim. I guess there's people asking. Challenge Space 2. This is just Sonic Advance. Sonic Adventure 2 Advance. How high are we gonna go? Uh, what's happening? 
It's a cutscene? Is that beta? Those are a bunch of betas. I like it. I like me some adventure references. I don't know what I would use the kick for. I love me some Sonic Battle, but I have no... I don't have any idea what I would utilize that for. I think I just screwed myself. No, I didn't. All right. We're working with it. I'm going to... I'm going to die, I think. Dare I keep going? Oh, I can't... Pre Come on, what a tease! What a tease! I'm like right to the edge. They're like, nope. Go back. Go back. Do the platforming. Uh, I gotta go all the way back. Are you serious? Okay, what, what did I not do? Okay, I'm gonna go even further back. Because what... A speed booster sends me there? Hold on. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a ramp there. I would suggest making that more visible because... <laughs> Did you guys see it? Was I... Was that me just being dumb? Because I didn't... I didn't see a booster. I played the advanced game, so I would have been familiar with the look. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, but... I can't... Yeah, let's kick him. Kick! Let's kick, kick. Oh, I missed. See, this is why it's not really helpful. Because like, you got to get real close to the enemy and chances are you're just going to get hurt, dude. Uh, all right. Let's go. Oh, I hope I make it. Yeah. Roger's lines are pretty good. At least the ones used here, I really like. I think I honestly... So, I'm biased, but I prefer Roger over Ryan. Uh, not Ryan. Ryan's my fave, okay, guys? That never happened. You never heard that. I'm talking I prefer Roger over Jason, but I'm biased because when I was a little kid and I was in love with Sonic and it was the greatest thing ever, uh, that was the voice actor that replaced my fave, so. Used boost in advanced mode? Wait a minute. Did you guys just read that? Did I just get... Was that a penalty for using boost? Is that what happened? Huh. Did I get... Is that... Did that actually happen? Can somebody go back in the stream archive and tell me... Evan is very wrong, confirmed. Hey, Mango, if you like Jason, I get it. Roger definitely uh, sounds older. Um... But I never perceived Sonic as the age that they say he is canonically. Like, he doesn't sound like a 16-year-old. Jason doesn't sound like a 16-year-old. You know, Ryan doesn't sound like a 16-year-old. I always thought it was a situation like Mario, where, like, you know, he's old enough to have a mustache. If he's made to be a rival of Mario, like, he's not going to be a little kid. He's a protagonist. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying you can't have a kid protagonist, but like, you know, at the time I was watching Spongebob and Spongebob had a job, right? And his age was ambiguous and Mario's age was ambiguous. It didn't matter. And Sonic, the things he's doing doesn't really, I don't understand why he has an age. I don't really get it. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know why any of the characters have an age. It's not essential. Uh, so I guess just in time to move on to the next game. Um, <clears throat> Cause our timer is out for Sonic. Sonic advanced. Four, advanced. I keep wanting to say Sonic 4 advanced. Maybe it's because I had so much excitement for Sonic 4 and it just didn't end up being what I wanted it to be. Anyway, for our last game for the evening, we have Sonic Reforged. And for you guys who love you some 3D Sonic, you're gonna love this. So if you've heard of the Infinity Engine, um, it's based on that, but there's a lot more mechanics. And I am going to say right now, 20 minutes. 20 minutes is not going to... Very loud, very loud, very loud. Very loud, very loud, very loud, very loud. Very loud, very loud. Sorry, it took me a while to figure out what the actual notes were. I got it at the end, though. Very loud. Red Ridge. All right, so I think I saw the dev in the chat. Not sure, but dev, give us a little wave. If you're the dev, uh, look at that. Look at the boy. I remember when I booted up this for a test, I was just like, oh, yeah, that's good. 
That it just looks real good. Doesn't it? Oh man, look at the jiggle physics on his quills too. That's good stuff. I know I know the dev wasn't necessarily in charge of that particularly, but I just wanted to appreciate it. Okay, so this says use the keyboard uh to pause and unpause the music. Oh, okay. Oh, it just mutes it. <laughs> I thought it was like a project here where we can change it. Hit all rings to play. Okay. Press A to jump. All right. There's a bounce attack. So that much we figured out. Camera's controlled with the uh, right stick. This music's pretty nice. All right, is this gonna be a wall jump section? <laughs> I think it's a bounce attack. Is it a bounce attack? Bounce, yeah. But can I get up? <laughs> can I get up there though with the bounce attack you're telling me to do? Come on! What is? What a tease! What is that about? What am I not doing? Oh, there's a double jump. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I didn't expect to be required that I use the double jump though. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, is there a boost? There's no boost. Wee! Alright, what's this? If you have trouble using this slope, hold down. Wait, what? There's a roll? Oh, what was that? Huh? Wait, what? What was that? Oh, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I figured it out. Wait, no. What? I probably should have read the thing. Uh, what's this? Uh, try holding down the rolling rolling button when going through it. If you're having trouble using this slope, try holding the, the rolling button. What's the rolling button? The rolling button. Oh, I did it again. What is it? It keeps happening by mistake. Did it say what the rolling button was? No. Try holding down the rolling button while going through it. Well, I figured out how to do drop dash, which should help me with all that kind of stuff. Who needs a spin dash? I got the drop dash. All right, what's this? Y button for light dash. What? I'm pressing the Y button. Oh, it worked. Okay. Uh, Sin Mania says it would probably be best if Sonic's age was unknown and he's just a teenager. I mean, yeah. That's that's what I would say. That was always what I thought. All right, so is there another part we can go to? Where am I? Oh, okay. My camera just tweaked out there for a second. I can feel my energy leaving me. We, this is where we came from. There has to be somewhere else we can go. What am I not doing right? Huh? What am I not doing right? Huh. The ages just exist, but aren't useful to anything in the stories. They really aren't. I'm not even, I, honestly, I, I straight up, I'm not kidding you. I think somebody who is writing the game booklets just put that in. Like I, or, or maybe it was from Sonic Team. I, it's just, it's changed so often. It makes me think it's just some, like, somebody else. Okay, so what is this saying? Well done. It's drop just. I don't need to see. So there's nothing telling me how to get to the next part. What am I not doing? There's an area up there. Do I have to go somewhere else? Oh, I'm dead. Well, you can't blame me. What am I? That's concept art over there. All right, so that's what you're you're aiming for. Nice concept art. Eggman's like, is it the egg storm? It literally looks like he's one with the cloud. Is my live chat like not refreshing? Or are you guys just like so entertained by <laughs> the gameplay? Oh, there we go. I had to scroll down. That's a bummer. Sorry, I didn't see you guys forever. A uh, hint you missed, Evan. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I got to everything. I'm not sure what's going on. I've seen people get to other parts, which is why I wanted to cover this. It's kind of a bummer because I have a finite amount of time. Oh, this was bound to happen eventually, but I really have nowhere else I have nowhere else to go. There's an area up there. Just go up the ramp. Do I have to go so fast that I fly up? 
That must be it. But it doesn't. Are you sure? Spin dash doesn't even quite work. Oh. There it is. Okay, we got it. Okay. I'm so happy that's not where the stream ended, because that would have been so sad. <laughs> Alright, so we're moving on. Let's go. Oh man. How am I gonna get up there? Is that how I get to the next part? Okay, so I'm gonna be running in circles until I'm able to get up there. Oh man. What is this? When going up a hill, you'll be faster by running. When going downhill, you'll be faster by rolling. Keep this in mind and make use. Okay, bye. Okay. Oh, no. Mm, I'm bad. Okay, well, at least I figured out spin dash. Oh, apparently I didn't. Okay, so we're going to need to be up here. Uh, if I had boost, I would just glide right over. Oh, hey, this seems to be the way to go. These pat platforms are really far apart, though. Oh no. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, it's too hardcore for me, guys. Ah! Uh, oh! Darn. That probably would have gotten me up, too. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. I got it. Okay. See, Chad? I'm not entirely incompetent. Alright, let's see what these are about. The spin dash. Oh, now you're going to teach me about the spin dash? It was required before. What? Okay. Anyway, it teaches you how to do the spin dash at some point, so that's good. Be careful, however. The spin dash will lock you into rolling mode until you make a landing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Crawls. Okay, fine. I'll just crawl. What's the point? <laughs> ah, ah, no. No. What was you? That wasn't me. That wasn't me! You saw it! You saw it! It was not me! I'm, we're not even gonna get to the other gimmicks, are we? Oh well. That's fine. It's the way it is. I don't have all the time in the world to play Sonic games. I gotta rest. <laughs> Alright. We'll have to... make our way back. Ugh! Dang it! I'm hurting. I'm sorry, Tiger Sonic. The drop dash was for the slope. I did the drop dash on the slope, but I wasn't able to get to the next part, bud. That's all I'm saying. Didn't mean anything by it. I'm just saying that, like, I, I couldn't get up there unless I used the spin dash. And now... Oh, and now I'm not going to be able to get to the next part without the homing attack, because the only reason I was able to get there last time was because I used the homing attack. What? Come on. Other people were able to do this, so it's really making me think that I'm just, like, not... ...doing it right. Which kind of sucks, because, like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. How would I go further? How would I go further? How would I make it go further? I see this little trick system, but it only sends me left and right. You gotta hold the roll. Gotta hold the roll, you say. Hold the roll. Uh. Uh. Uh, but that doesn't help me get over there. Uh-oh. Hmm. I guess I'm just not good enough. It's fine. Bound to happen at some point. Oh! <laughs> Come on! No! Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we did it. <laughs> when the spin dash happens, I'm gonna get a lot of distance and charge it up real... a lot. Real a lot. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna get over to the next part. First, second try. Ah, please! Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We're doing it. 
We're doing it, <laughs> Tiger Son Alex. <sighs> okay. All right. Um, I haven't been able to interact with you guys at all, but I think this is like the main hub now, right? That's where we came from. Oh, I really hope this doesn't screw me up by going down here. Uh, yeah. All right. We're getting into some stuff. Okay. All right. What's up? What's over here? Real a lot. <laughs> yeah, the the words are leaving me. It's happening. I mean, I normally stream once a week. This is three times in one week, and it's the hardest work week of my life. Don't even get me started. But we're we're escaping from that right now, so I'm not even gonna talk about that right now. All right, let's go. Uh, where are we going? Come on. Oh, get some stairs. Stairs. I like stairs. Ashlyn donated two dollars. Keep up the good work, Evan. You can do it, Ashlyn. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, what's this? A checkpoint. Hey, that means progress, guys. We did it. Progress, progress, progress. Right? That's a thing. I'm making it a thing. Okay, progress. It's it's. It, I don't know. It's that's a pun, I guess. That's considered a dad joke, I guess. So now I'm cringe. And so now I, sh I need to delete myself, according to the internet. Oh, the... The, uh, what is it? The rails. The words are leaving me. The words are leaving me, chat. I feel the words leaving me. I'm getting exhausted. It's almost nine. It's about time for me to fall apart. Ah! Okay. The, uh, the rails don't have... They don't... They're not homing attackable. It seems. I want to get to them, though. They look so cute with their numbers and stuff. I uh, don't know what he's escaping. Glad to make it, though. Escaping work. Ah! How am I supposed to land on those? Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I want to go back to that part because I actually knew where I was supposed to go. Okay. All right. Back to here. I know it's the same thing over and over again, but I'm afraid I'm going to get lost if I go anywhere else. Uh, I'm going to head out as I need to sleep. Good night, y'all. Good night, Danny. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I, I'm sure the dev is uh, chatting in the chat, but I also worry that if I pause to read everything that everybody says, I also will never play, and I have a finite amount of time. One day I'll have a streaming setup in which I'm not using someone's computer that is not mine, and I won't feel like I need to only stream for an hour. I do want to stream longer than just an hour. Am I going in circles? Was that spring meant for me to get up there? Excuse me. Maybe it was. Oh, that is not a place I'm supposed to go. You can collect all the Chaos Emeralds, it seems. I have seen footage of Supersonic in this, so it appears that all of that was for nothing. Well, it was for a Chaos Emerald, so it wasn't completely for nothing. Uh, but I do not think there is any way possible for me to get all seven Chaos Emeralds, considering I only have one. Tiger Sonic Alex, I respect your game and all your work that your team puts in, but wouldn't it be better to just jump right into stage levels? You definitely need a sandbox to test out the engine. Um, I definitely, I, I'm not gonna criticize the idea of doing a sandbox. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not, I'm not super, like, stressed about, like, not knowing where to go and stuff. Uh, Sonic Arcus had this, and a lot of 3D fan games have to do this to make sure they got the physics down and all the, uh, you know, and to, uh, to understand truly what their engine can do and to play around with some ideas. It's, it's, this is no different than, um, a character designer's, um, concept sheet. Where they have a bunch of sketches on the page uh, and then they eventually go forward with one design and move forward with that for a focused level it's just we're not at that stage yet or we are they are not Sonic Duelist number ones yeah so that's basically I'm answering him I was about to read the same chat twice you will win wrong way says the fizz whiz how is there a right and wrong way am I supposed am I trying to get over there yeah I'm probably trying to get over there okay so I'll probably go up here. Come on. What? Uh. What? 
Maybe there's something over here that gets me up there. I was already here! Wait. Uh, I know what I have to do. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I thought these were a lot closer together. Poop. Okay. Speaking of poop, I'm pooped. Haha. <laughs> okay, uh... Apparently the only way up is to do the spin dash, so... Glad I know how to do it. Oops, did not mean to do that. You cannot do it! Sonic Toei! Hey! Toei! Come on! Cannot do it? I don't think there's really a goal in this. The idea is just kinda, it's a sandbox, so there is real no it to do. What is going on? There we go. All right, and now I have to get up there. And I have to get over there. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, progress, 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 progress. Uh, I don't like the idea of going down there. That doesn't seem right, but I think I have to. Uh, I just feel like going down is gonna get rid of my progress. Uh, or Lords could just unplug her computer at nine. Uh, this is the last game, Akuro 64. Uh, the very last game of our Sage coverage. I am gonna go down here and I hope it doesn't... This- I definitely was here before! Ah, ah. Ooh, maybe that'll get us up there. No, that, that goes nowhere. Or maybe it doesn't? Can I even get up to- Oh my goodness, okay. Can I double jump after a bounce? Yes, I can. Okay, so this should be pretty easy. <laughs> Platforming I can handle. <laughs> no! Apparently I can't! I jinxed it! You need sleep, Evan. Rosemary, <laughs> yes. It doesn't take a doctor to diagnose that. I definitely need to rest. Uh, though, still got one more work day to go. Luckily, it's my more chill one, so hopefully more chill days are ahead for me. I love, I was mentioning this with GT and Sonic Encore, but I absolutely love the bounce attack. Using it for platforming, it keeps your momentum going. I think this is progress. Oh, there's balloons. Where do they go? Somewhere higher up. Sign me up. Oh no, I can't see where I'm going. Oh. Okay, we got two minutes. We better make them count. <laughs> Luna Knight says, uh, Evan, after the stream, try to have a good sleep. I will. I will try my very best. Um, though, I don't know how effective my attempts will be. I got a lot of things to think about. I will really try, but it also doesn't help. I I sleep much better in the winter. Because I, 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 I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, do you guys, like, even though you're hot, like, like, almost sweating, you still need a blanket on you to fall asleep? Like, I can't sleep just, like, laying in my bed with nothing over top of me. It's almost like the weight of the blanket kind of, like, makes me relax. Uh, does that make sense? So in the winter, I sleep much better because the weight of the blanket uh, helps me fall asleep. But not only that, it's keeping me warm. And so I'm all set. But in the summer, I have a lot of trouble because I'm just, I feel like I'm just too hot all the time. And the balloons are gone, so there's no hope of going there. So we'll go up here and hope that it's something really exciting to end the stream on. It ain't gonna be a chaos emerald, I'll tell you that. And we were here already. Were we here? I don't think we were here. Or were we? We were, because those are the numbered rails that I can't grind on. Maybe we can end the stream with actually landing on them. Yeah, we did something different. Small celebrations. It's the small celebrations, the small victories. Um, I want to get over there. Maybe I can. It's really high up. I don't think I can get up there. There's no way. Darn. I want to go to where all those slopey stuff is. Guys, 
We're gonna pull a skip. Spin dash time. This is not gonna work, is it? Maybe I'll give myself more space. My time is up, but I have to do this. Tiger Sonic Son Alex says try rolling down this hill, but I don't think there's like a ramp that'll launch me off. No, it'll just make me careen into my death. No, there's no ramp. My only hope is to do a spin dash and aim it perfectly between these pillars and make it all the way over there. Ready, guys? We're gonna end the stream on this note. So no matter what, so no matter what, this is how the stream's gonna end. It's either gonna be a really sad ending or a really happy ending. Here we go. Uh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Yay. Let's roll down this hill in celebration. Uh, Oh, that was kind of anticlimactic. I probably should have held my roll. Anyway, this was Sage 2020. And I must remind you, this has been one of the biggest Sage events ever. Um, so you might have noticed that the website crashed way more than ever before. And that's because it is so much bigger. If you are feeling down about the Sonic drought or about Sonic opinions being regurgitated every five minutes, remind yourself that the Sonic community is bigger than ever before. It's growing and whatever's next will be really interesting to see because Sonic is, believe it or not, in a very good place right now. It all depends on what's next. And myself personally, I think we're due for some momentum 3D Sonic like what we just saw with Sonic Reforged. Uh, and it's really cool to see 3D Sonic fan games like Sonic Reforged, Sonic Encore, and Sonic GT, and many others. They're really playing with momentum-based level design. Um, more so Encore and GT in that regard. And I hope that Reforged gets to that point. But it's really cool to see fans starting to play with that. And hopefully one day, Sonic 3D fan games will get to a point where they are just as robust as some of the most memorable Sonic 2D fan games. I'm sure we'll get to that point. The Sonic fandom is super creative. And when we get to that point, we will be here on Tails' channel covering it, and we will all react to it together. Anyway, just want to let you guys know there will be no Sunday night Tails' channel live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to pick up the weekend after next weekend because I am exhausted. Anyway, guys, I'm going to miss you all this weekend, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace. So I have to alt tab. Uh, where's my mouse? I'll try it again. And peace. Stop streaming.